So what we're going to do now is put this on our powered up train. So we'll just disconnect the motor. Let's put that to one side. Put the battery box back in for weight. And then we'll just clip this in. Okay, so nothing going on in there. And then we'll just set this down on the track. Let's get this on right. Okay, and then Turn this on. Away we go. Here it is pulling two carriages. So here, I'm just going to show you what I did to this motor to get it to work on the 9 volt system. This was a power functions motor. I got it from AliExpress for about $6. I used these train wheels. These are O-gauge metal and I got four of them for about $30 including shipping. So this is costing me about $20 to make. What I did was just cut the cable out and then solder in a pair of wires either side. So I've got one side here and one side here, picking up the power from the 9 volt rails. I took some heavy duty pliers and snipped uh, the axle here in half so these are not electrically connected and I use some electrical tape to pad out the axles I'm still working on that idea and maybe make a better a better way of doing this but this seems to work well enough but it's actually a very simple way of uh, running these on uh, on the 9 volt system so I'm just also got these wires out here, the bare wires, so they are touching the uh, the metal wheels here. I had to use a Dremel to uh, remove the paint because they weren't conducting electricity, so they weren't uh, weren't working there. So a quick Dremel with a polishing a polishing head, and you can get these shined up. Also, the other issue I found with these is that these are quite thick compared to the regular Lego wheels, the plastic ones, they're a lot thinner. So if you kind of look at the comparison here, 
and get this out. And if you take so one of the issues I've found with these thicker wheels is that when it goes across the switches, if there's no weight or it's going too fast, it can jump off the track. So what I'm going to do is just get a grinder and just grind this down a little bit to about that thickness there. And then that should work just like a regular uh, Lego motor. But as you can see, they're, uh, they're about the same diameter. So they work pretty well. So I'll just put those side by side there so you can see what they look like. So these are a good uh, good drop-in replacement for for the Lego system. So I'll just put this back now and make sure the gears are turning. And the differential's working there, yep. So Just make sure those wires are sticking out a little bit so we have some good contact. There we go. And then we just make sure that we've got this the right way around. And that the wheels turn. And there's no uh, no friction going on there. It's nice and smooth. And then we we'll just put all this back together. Yeah. So hopefully I can figure out a a better system of doing this. But this in theory works quite well. And it's very easy to do. Just a little bit of soldering. That's a cheap way of getting a 9 volt motor. So I'm going to build a few more of these. <laughs> 